Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. The WHO classification system of pulmonary hypertension can be really confusing to remember. So today we're going to break it down with a clever mnemonic called the mirror mnemonic. All right, let's get to it. Pulmonary hypertension. So first, what is pulmonary hypertension? This is when you have elevated pressure within the pulmonary arteries. So these are the blood vessels that carry blood from the right ventricle to the lung so that the blood can get oxygenated. And for a variety of reasons, you can get increased pressure within those vessels. So how does the WHO classify pulmonary hypertension? So first, group one is pulmonary arterial hypertension. This happens when the arteries get narrow, thickened, or stiff. So the elevation and pressures is due to some sort of problem with the actual blood vessel itself. Group two is due to left heart disease. So because the blood eventually goes back to the left side of the heart from the lungs, so if there's a problem in the left side of the heart, Blood's going to back up into the lungs and the pulmonary vessels, causing an increase in pressure. And it's important to know that group 2 is the most common type of pulmonary hypertension. Group 3 is due to lung disease. So this can either be obstructive lung disease, like COPD or emphysema, when there's a problem exhaling out the air, or it can be due to restrictive lung diseases, when there's a problem with the lung's ability to expand on inhalation. So basically what happens here is because you're not getting good lung function, you're not getting proper ventilation. And so certain blood vessels will constrict and shunt away from these poorly ventilated areas because your body is trying to maximize the ventilation to perfusion ratio. And because you have some of these blood vessels that are constricted, that increases the pressure leading to pulmonary hypertension. All right, group four is chronic thromboembolic pulmonary hypertension, abbreviated CTEPH. And this is due to blood clots. So if there's some sort of clot in the blood vessel, blood's going to back up and cause an increase in pressure. Now group five is sort of a miscellaneous group of causes where we don't really completely understand the mechanism or how it's driving an increase in pressure. But some of these are sarcoidosis, uh, hematologic, and metabolic abnormalities. All right, let's learn the mnemonic. So we have the different classes, one, two, three, four, five, and essentially what we're doing in this mnemonic is we're just creating a mirror image of the number. So starting with group one, we reflect it, and it looks like an artery. See here, the two lines, it's like the walls of the artery, and this should help you remember that it's an arterial cause. It's the vessels themselves driving the hypertension. Okay, for class two, we reflect it and see how it looks like a heart. This helps you remember that's due to left heart disease. Now group three, we reflect the three, and these kind of look like the lungs. So this should help you remember group three is due to lung disease. Now group four, we reflect it, and notice here, it looks like the walls of the blood vessel, but there's a blockage in the middle. That should help you remember there's a blood clot, and that's what's driving group four hyper pulmonary hypertension. And lastly, group five, you know, we kind of reflect it, um, and there's two things we can learn here. One, the five, it looks like an S, so you can think of sarcoidosis, but also reflected, the five kind of is like a question mark should make you think of like unknown causes. All right, this is the mirror mnemonic. Hope you found this helpful. Take care everyone, and I'll see you in the next one.